This video is brought to you with support from my patrons on Patreon. Hey everybody, it's Jimmy from the DIY and Digital, and this is a model railroad workstation built entirely out of stuff from Ikea. I'm gonna talk about the components that I use, as well as why I decided to make this. Welcome back everybody. Today I am looking at a workstation that I created with stuff from Ikea specifically for model railroading. And I like using stuff from Ikea because of its modularity and its price. And I'll talk about a few other reasons why I decided to use Ikea stuff later on, but let's get into the workstation itself. So here is the Ikea workstation. First of all, obviously not the entire thing is Ikea. The layout itself is was custom built and I'll link a link to that video right up here as well as in the description below. But the three pieces that are supporting it and that are around it are all from Ikea and you can get them for a grand total of right around hundred bucks if not a little bit less. So let's go ahead and start talking about some of the pieces. The first thing I'm gonna talk about is the table and the table is the Ikea Linman tabletop with Ikea Ikea Aldis legs, and I know I'm probably going to butcher some of these names. The tabletop itself is 40 inches long and about two feet deep, and it is $9 at Ikea, and you really can't beat that. Now, you do have to buy the legs separate. This allows for customization because there are different types of legs that you can put on these. There are wheels, there are legs with casters on them and everything like that, but the legs are the Aldis legs, and they are $5 each. So you would buy these and you can actually buy them all together as a set for about $25 if you're doing this. And also you can see how very easy they are to install. The tabletops have pre-drilled holes for attaching the legs and it doesn't take long at all. And this is extremely lightweight, so it's very easy to move. So this is a great way to get some quick, solid bench work up as well. And they do make different sizes of tabletops as well. So you can put a bunch of these together to make a lot of bench work and it works really great another thing you could potentially use is for t-track and things like that so that is the tabletop let's move on to the drawer set the uh, chest of drawers right here um, this is the ikea helmer um, it has six little drawers into it it's all metal and you do have to put it together but it takes me less than an hour to put this entire thing together it's really not difficult it does have wheels on it but they are not casters so it can just roll out and then roll back into position and it's got a surprising amount of storage in it I I'm using this particular one to hold all of my little scenery materials uh, just so I can have them for later. And I love that you can also label the drawers as well. So that is the Ikea Helmer uh, chest of drawers that goes underneath um, the table. It fits nicely just because everything at Ikea is designed to work with everything else. And I really, really like that. The last thing is this folding table. This is the Ikea Torparo or Torpero. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that. Uh, but it's a folding table from ikea this particular ikea table is 30 dollars and it is it was actually used to, to support mrr1 where it was sitting in my old office before i moved over here so it's a pretty sturdy table but this is going to be kind of like my work my movable workbench that i can move around um, to different places and but i have this sitting here because it's a great little workbench it's roughly right around the same height of the tabletop so you can actually use this as additional temporary bench work if you have modules and things like that and the really great thing about this and why i'm using it as my workbench instead of using it as my actual bench work um, it's one it's a little bit smaller um, and you would have to do some extra supports and have to take some extra considerations when you're building the layout that's going to sit on top of it but two is that it is also foldable and it folds up really narrow and is really easy to store so if you don't want to have your little workbench out all the time this is a great way to do it because you can fold it up and then sit it against the wall and then bring it back out um, when you need it and you can put a little hook on the wall to hold it or something like that but this is a great little workbench that you can use so this is the IKEA uh, model railroad workstation and I really really like the way this has turned out I'm gonna be using some of these principles in building the bench work for my new layout and building everything out for it and so far what i've done so far is actually working out really well and you guys will get to see that a little bit later um, but this uh totals out to right around 100 dollars, as i said before and it's really really awesome and really really simple to build so if you are not 
looking to buy a saw, buy a ton of tools, um, learn some basic woodworking, get all these different things to build out in the garage, or if you don't have the space to do that, you can go to Ikea and you can get this stuff to build a layout on. And you can build it straight on the tabletops if you want, if you don't uh, want to do any sort of carpentry, or you can build a layout like I have with MRR1 and just sit it on top. So that is probably the biggest reason I decided to make this workstation to show you guys. So that is my model railroad IKEA workstation. You can expand it, you can make it as large as you want or as small as you want. That's something that I really, really like about it. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I wanna say a big thank you to all of my patrons. They are listed right here. You can become a patron for as little as $1 a month. A lot of cool things, a lot of behind the scenes and things like that. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Jimmy from the DIY and Digital. Stay safe, be kind, and happy railroading. Hey guys, can you believe it? I did another no blooper video, so I just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you saw here today, why don't you consider hitting the like button? It really helps out the channel here in terms of analytics, and it's totally free to do. And if you check out my channel and you like quite a few of the videos that you see, maybe you should consider subscribing. We have a lot of fun here. There's a really great supportive community around this channel as well. It'll be a positive experience. I can about guarantee that. So thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you next time.